These are seven streaming bundles that will not break the bank. Which one's best? Keep watching to find out. Number one on the list comes in right at the max budget, $50, and I'm calling it the big three. Netflix Standard, HBO Max, and the Disney Bundle with Hulu, no ads, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus. Who's this bundle best for? Well, my first thought is people who like to stream new shows and movies when they are trending, right when they come out. And although I admit most people do not need all three of these services, with this combination, you don't have to think about stopping and starting subscriptions to save money. You can keep all three and pay just over $50 a month. Let's move on to number two, Sling Plus One. Now, Sling TV is a live TV service. It has two plans that start at $35 a month each. For this recommendation, pick one of them, either Sling Orange or Sling Blue. If you don't know how to choose, the main draw of Sling Orange is ESPN, good for sports fans, and Sling Blue is good for news junkies because it has all three of the major cable news networks. In addition to Sling TV, my recommendation is to add one service from the big three. Netflix, HBO Max, and the Disney Bundle each have lots of content to explore, but if I had to pick just one, it would be HBO Max, at least for now. Sling TV plus one of those services will cost you right around $50. Number three, Sling Orange plus Sling Blue. If you can't find everything you want in either the Sling Orange or Sling Blue plans separately, you can combine them and pay $50 a month. It's basically a skinny cable TV bundle, but without all your local stations. With our $50 a month budget, Sling Orange and Blue doesn't leave any money left for other services, but you may find enough original content on free services. The Roku channel, Tubi, Amazon Freebie, just a few of those that are leaning into exclusive original series. Number four, HBO Max plus Discovery Plus. What's interesting is that these two services will be combined into a single service now that they're both owned by Warner Brothers Discovery. But for now, as of this recording, they are available separately. I see HBO Max is a good year-round service for a mix of scripted movies and shows. Then you've got Discovery Plus that has the non-scripted content, mostly reality shows. If you're on a budget, this combination is a really good value at the current pricing you'd pay less than $25 a month for ad-free plans of both services. Number five, Philo and Peacock. If reality TV shows are your thing, Philo is the live TV streaming service that you really wanna take a look at. It's $25 a month, but that leaves half of your budget for other services. Here's one idea, you could sign up for Peacock, since that service has started to stream current seasons of Bravo shows. And this combination of Philo and Peacock that starts at only $30 a month. So in that case, if you decided to add Discovery Plus or Paramount Plus for even more reality TV, you would still stay under $50 a month. Number six, network TV replacements. This bundle is for people who can't pick up locals with an antenna or they just aren't willing to pay $70 a month for a premium live TV service. Here's the best I could come up with. Paramount Plus's premium plan includes a live feed of your local CBS station. You will not get live feeds with these other services, but you will get content from NBC with Peacock, and Hulu has shows from ABC and Fox. This combination of services, ad-free, costs $33 a month, which means you could still add Netflix or HBO Max and stay under 50 bucks. Number seven, all the plus services. I started this video with the big three, remember that? Netflix, HBO Max, and the Disney bundle, ad free for 50 bucks a month. But here's a look at the math when you get the cheaper plans. Netflix Basic, HBO Max with ads, and the Disney bundle with ad supported Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus. When you choose these plans, it leaves about $15 in the budget for other services. So maybe you choose up to three of these services on this list and still stay on budget. That's probably overkill, but it does show you how that you can get access to a lot more content for 50 bucks a month if you're willing to watch at least some ads. And I should mention there's one $5 a month plus service that does not have commercials, and that is Apple TV Plus. Let me know down below in the comments which of these bundles do you think is best? Maybe you've got a better idea. I look forward to reading those suggestions down below in the comments. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you back here soon.